Well, good morning. Um, Travelled down here on the off chance that we might get a sunrise. Well, we'll, we'll get a sunrise. <laughs> what a silly thing to say. Uh, but a colourful one. Um, there are some tiny bits of cloud out there which I'm hoping will stay pretty still and catch that sun as it's rising. So we're here pre-dawn, the twilight hours, so um, let me set up and then uh, we're going to take a picture of this little jetty down here. Okay, it seems that we're fairly well set up. Just got to watch the mosquitoes now. Um, so yes, yeah, so I've set up. Um, I've got the 32 to 64 on at the moment because I am a fair way away from this uh, from this jetty itself. I had high hopes of the jetty being open. They've been working on it, working on a road to it. Um, I should have checked. Number one rule: check your location. Um, so it is actually still closed, and it has some fencing around it. So. We're here, so we're going to do the very best that we can. So, what else can you do when you appear? Um, I'm going to take a couple of shots of this jetty, and then hopefully we'll try and find something else to do as well. So, um, I was going to concentrate on a single object, uh, but I think, I think we're going to have to uh, change it up a little bit. So, either way, let's get started. There we go. Let's just uh, move up a bit from F8 and let's see what we've actually got here. Now, your light keeps going out because it was the one. Uh, you were the one battery <laughs> that I didn't charge. Um, I know, I know, awful. Okay, so I think immediately that we can, what we can do here is, uh, is lose a bit of this sky. I don't think we need all that sky because there's only a small amount of interest out there that you can see. And I'm just going to line up the jetty in the center of this image. And that looks about right. Um, so we are high above this, uh, this jetty, as you can see, and looking down, it gives you a, a lovely little T-shape. Um, it does look off center, and that's because uh, it, it's actually built like that. So there's not really much we can do about that. So I do think we need a filter or two, just to compensate for the sky. You know, just the polarizer first. You can see that horrible vignette top left. We're going to lose that. There we go. Uh, I'm, I don't mind glare on these long exposures in the morning because it gives you a reflection of the uh, of of the sky in the water. So let me grab my filters. We might do with the reverse grad because it's decidedly lighter just on that horizon. So just to equalize, let's just adjust this, to make sure. And you can see what that does there. It, it tames that portion of the sky. Now the top left, I'm just gonna use the polarizer again just to see. Top left is a little darker and that's natural because the sunlight is off to the right. And I don't think we need a second grad. I think we're, we're good to go on here. I'm going to come and focus on that jetty, just like that. And there are some rocks closer to me. I will take them in a moment a shorter exposure i think i just want to make sure that i get this one in i'm going to come down from iso 500 to iso 100. i want nice smooth water and also that the swimmers i'm not sure you can pick that up but the swimmers out there having a having a great laugh um 
60 seconds at f11 two minutes is slightly too much 60 seconds should do us got a two second timer on let's go and see what we get now so i'm going to have to focus stack this there is a, a real large rock close to this composition right in front of us so i'm going to have to uh, take that separately and then of course uh, what i may do i'll take a third shot on that headland out there and then i can choose which to use um, at 60 seconds I, I may actually just go for the two the focus stack near and the jetty and then leave the uh, headland to go slightly soft Okay, let's set up for number two. I don't think we need the grad, and I'll tell you why now. Um, the grad itself now, this uh, reverse grad, you can see here that it's darkening, really darkening. See those bushes? So in this case, it's not the best filter for us to use so i'm gonna pop this out and i'm just gonna pop in a soft grad there we go so 1.2 and this one will just tame that sky a little bit now I'm going to pop it down to ISO 50 um, just to make sure I can capture everything. I'm at F11. I'm going to bump that up a touch. F16 possibly. Because even though there's no cloud, I still want that water to be nice and smooth. Um, so that's giving us 60 seconds. And the histogram as you can see is quite central and we've got the, we're actually okay because the uh, the sun's coming in from the right hand side behind you so there shouldn't be any real hot spots out there so um, again I'm gonna have to focus stack on this rock but the first thing I'm gonna do is get our jetty nicely in focus which it is now and then uh, we've got a two second timer on, 60 seconds. I'm just going to adjust it. I think I've adjusted, knocked it slightly off level. There we go. And let's go. seaweed here so we've got to keep an eye on that water okay 
Right, well, so a beautiful little scene. We've got some rocks on the right coming in. Some nice swirly water, hopefully we can catch that. So I'm just gonna focus stack on this glorious seaweed. I do want a larger wave coming in. And there it is. Just to fill this little foreground with some swirling water. And once again, and that's, oh, it's God, glorious. Um, I may just have to just pop it to F16 to tame that sun a bit. So, we'll get that. And then I'm gonna focus stack. That light is beautiful. It will be a 16 by 9. Oops. There comes the water. But the colour, absolutely beautiful. What I will need to check though, which I should have checked straight away, is is that sky blown out? Because we could use a reverse grad, the tiniest amount. One more, just with some of that water coming in. Nice. Coming in. Oops, I don't want to be wet. <laughs> Not well, no wellies, so. No wellies. I want to try and stay as dry as possible today. Let's catch one of those going out. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Fabulous. And I actually quite like those little rocks out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move back a bit. I'm going to put a longer lens on while that sun's coming up. See if we got we get the time to do it. I don't think we will have. The sun's already coming up. So let's uh, change our change our thoughts and position. I'm going to come across here to the right where Rafi hasn't been. Okay, I probably need to raise this up a bit. Let's get in a touch. In fact, I don't need the sand, it's just the rocks. Let's, uh, let's focus in on these rocks. Uh, exposure blend, three seconds for the rocks. And then the sky and that shorter exposure beautiful 16 by 9 again that sky is just glorious I'm gonna go for F32 catch that Sun so it's not blown out I'm just going to check that. Glorious. That's it for today. I'm uh, 
I'm going to pack up. I've got a long way to go, unfortunately. Love to stay longer, um, but I've got an appointment that I've got. I just can't, can't miss. So, ah, uh, drag us away from this. <laughs> How beautiful, but needs must. Um, you take what you get, and then you enjoy it, and then, unfortunately, um, you have to say goodbye. So, uh, on that note, <laughs> please look after yourself, look after your loved ones. Until next time, see ya.